Hello everyone and welcome to a very special Kerbal Space Program video as KSP version 1.11, some reassembly required, has just been released. This highly anticipated update has brought with it a considerable amount of new features and bug fixes. In this video, we are going to do a breakdown of all the new exciting additions to the game. So let's get straight into it. The first thing I want to show off is perhaps the most anticipated new update coming out of 1.11, EVA Construction Mode. This new features allow Kerbals to modify and repair craft in flight. This means that if you accidentally destroy a solar panel or knock off a radiator, you can repair the broken parts with an engineer Kerbal. Aside from that, you can also add stuff to your Kerbal's inventory and build on your craft in flight. This new feature could be really useful and along with uh, being able to repair stuff, EVA construction may be one of the best new features added to KSP in a very long time. Alongside EVA construction came a completely revamped inventory system. First of all, the storage containers from the Breaking Ground DLC have been brought into the base game. Squad has also added a few new storage containers as well as adding inventory space into some of the existing parts. Parts up to a certain size can be added to these containers. Then it's just a matter of pressing I to enable the build UI and boom, a new part has been placed. New parts have also been added to your Kerbal's backpack. These parts include EVA repair kit, EVA experiment kit, and EVA fuel cylinders. In addition, the standard EVA jetpack and parachute are now able to be swapped out just like all the new parts. That basically sums up the newly revamped inventory system and the brand new EVA construction mode. But that is barely scratching the surface of all the new features. This update is so massive. There are many more features to get to, but first, I'd like to say a quick thank you to all the new subscribers I have been getting in the last week. It has been absolutely crazy, and I would like to thank everyone who subbed, liked, commented, or just enjoyed the videos. You guys are great. Uh, now let's, uh, let's get back to the new features. Perhaps the next biggest update was the newly revamped moons. Yes, Val, Bop, and Tylo have all received revamped textures in the new update. These new textures are very nice and bring these three moons more on par with the rest of the planets. Tylo especially needed a revamp as in my opinion before uh, the update it had been one of the worst looking celestial bodies in KSP. And this footage is, by the way, completely stock with no visual mods at all. With these moons, moons revamped, there are only a few planets slash moons left to revamp. With these features, 1.11 would have already been one of the biggest updates to KSP ever, but there are still more features and we haven't even gotten to the bug fixes yet. Another part that has been added was work lamps, spotlights, and navigation lights as well as light strips. The spotlights, nav lights, and light strips function like most other parts and can be attached to your craft in the editor or in a flight with construction mode. These lights and all the lights now can be fully customized to make whatever color you want. Besides the spotlights, nav lights, and light strips, work lamps have been added as well. These lights function similarly to deployable science from the Breaking Ground DLC. The work lamps can be placed on the ground by a Kerbal and they will illuminate the area so the Kerbal can work during the night. As well as other lights, work lamps can have their colors fully customized. New monoprop thrusters have also been added. New smaller thrusters have been added. The four-way thruster now has the ability to be customized. Five, three, and two nozzle versions have all been added. I am especially happy about the five nozzle variant. It will be very useful. Kerbals now have weight. So a passenger module or command pod will now weigh more with Kerbals inside. This also applies to the cargo that you bring with you on your missions. And now onto the bug fixes. But first, let's do another round of plugs. I would like to quickly plug my Discord because it's uh, been really fun talking to you guys and the more people we get, the better. So if you are interested, feel free to click the link in the description. Alrighty, on to the bug fixes. One fix 
uh, we were all hoping for was the fix to the fuel transfer glitch. And it was. Uh, it was implemented. I am now happy to report that when transferring fuel, it will no longer get stuck and stop working. This is very good. I am very happy they managed to get this bug resolved. It was very annoying. Another noticeable bug fixes include a fix to flickering orbital lines, a fix to EVA walking glitch, and a fixed an inconsistency in the detection of hatch obstruction. There are many more smaller bug fixes listed in the patch notes, which have been linked below if you want to check those out. Finally, one thing missing from the bug fixes uh, is the current non-working state of gold fairings, but let's hope they get that fixed soon. And with that, that is all of the major new features of KSP 1.11. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I don't want to drag this out, so I'd like to say thank you for watching, we'll see you next time. Please write or comment to this video once again. Thank you for watching, we'll see you next time, and bye.